if you truly have seen so much of the glory and beauty of God that it's captivated your heart and you see Him as the one who is most worthy of every breath, then you do things for Him. And now it's not legalism, it's relational. It's worship. Why do I say no to the world, the Christian says. It's not just because God tells me the world is bad, but it is because I see that He is infinitely more beautiful than anything the world can give me. Just hold your place for a second in Romans and go to 1 Thessalonians. Let's see if I remember where this is. It's been a long time since I preached there. Look at 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 9. For they themselves report about, report about us what kind of reception we had with you, how you turned to God from idols to serve a living and true God, and to wait for His Son from heaven, whom He raised from the dead. Now I want you to look at the order. You turned to God from idols. Maybe you're not catching the order here. It should be written, you turned from idols to God. Because you turn from those things to something else. But he says, no, you turn to God from idols. And the Greek scholar Hebert, who if you can get all his commentaries, get them. He points this out very clearly. He goes, it's not that these people were just growing tired of all their idols. You know, they were just... Uh, don't want these idols anymore. There's nothing. And they begin to look for something else and Paul just happened to wander by. No. What's going on is this. They're sitting there worshiping their idols. They're all about their idols. I mean, they loved their idols. They were, they were happy, satisfied, content with their idols. And then all of a sudden, Paul comes and he proclaims to them a God who so excels their idols. They see such a beauty in this God, such a greatness, such a glory, that they're captivated and torn away from the idols because of what they've seen. And that is to continue on throughout our entire Christian life. That is why we are to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 